So, um, uh, yeah, so, so Jack, he actually is in London, um, and, uh, a good, good friend of mine. And yeah, he's, he's written this amazing article that I, I like, I think I shared it in our Slack, like multiple times. <laughs> so it's like, you have, everyone has to read this. And then like a couple hours later, it's like, everyone has to read this. Um, and I made, I'm like, you know, I basically stopped what I was doing and like made a bunch of notes. Um, cause yeah, super, I listened to the podcast, but it's sort of really nice to kind of get everything, um, uh, summarized here. Um, but yeah, the, the top one there is, is probably the one thing I think is like most important. Uh, uh, but I do, I do maybe have like a one little bone to pick with, uh, what, what he's then, but yeah, this is the most important thing because like, basically you can have an idea of like what you think uh, people want and you, you can even have an idea of like what you want. Um, so like one of the things people say is like, oh, I'll just build something like for myself. And because I'm like the user, I know what I want. And I think that actually does like, that is one really good way to like get started. But like, basically you don't know anything uh, because users will definitely surprise you with what they want. And um <laughs> so if you're not yes. talking to your users you definitely will not like you will almost what 99.9 percent .9 of the time not build the right thing um and when i understanding your user understanding your users i think is the right way to put it because it's not i, I don't think it's, it's like i guess listening it can can be like uh, a synonym for understanding but listening to your users maybe sounds a little bit like doing what they say, which I think is probably not the right thing to do. Uh, because a lot of times like your, your users sort of don't sort of don't understand the whole picture. They, they might only want this like one little thing or, or maybe they want something that's like, is not compatible with some other thing. Right. But when you like understand your users, that's more like you sort of know what, what they want. And it's not, you're not, one user isn't going to give that to you. Uh, they, they might, but like, you have to hear from like a lot of users, right? So one of the things that we did and what, what's led to all these like pivots and stuff, well, not pivots, but like rewrites is uh, discord, you know, and uh, having a mm -hmm. discord and talking to people and basically it's like doing support, you know, you have people are on there, like having problems. Very familiar, and, like, yeah. one, one way to understand your users is to support, like do support, um, for the users when they're running into problems and that if we hadn't, if we weren't doing our own support and like, you know, in the trenches with people trying to like fix their problems, we never would have changed from V2 to V3. Like we wouldn't have known what to do because we kept hearing the same problems over and over and over again. And like, we tried to like fix them as in like, though, no, this is some missing feature or maybe this is some missing, um, uh, this is a bug maybe, you know, um, or it needs to work in a different way. And we, we do, we did that like for a while. Right. But we kept hearing the same sort of issues coming up and uh, hearing those issues were like this and, and, and like understanding that what they really wanted wasn't what we were giving them. Right. And so we it, like it. What the, the bone I want to pick is if you scroll down a little bit, I think he talks somewhere in there about like a LinkedIn thing. Um, uh, the, the stakeholders thing is a good idea. But like if you keep going, I think he was uh, talking about like going into LinkedIn and listening to people uh, on LinkedIn. I don't know, maybe it's a different section. Um, yeah, we, uh, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, uh, like those, that, I don't think that's like the way to do it. Like that, that might give you like some idea of like sort of where a starting point, but like your starting point is always going to be like meet reality at some point. And those, those, those people who are coming with you to like with their issues or what they want or whatever is like, that's sort of where you really, under like start to understand what your users want like re leads on linkedin is not gonna be um <laughs> it, yeah it's just that, that's not gonna give you like some kind of uh, uh magic insight to things um well, someone you to, you, it's like yeah so, no yeah. someone could say oh easy for you to say eric because you were on the hacker news homepage like a bunch of times and you have like a packed discord mm -hmm. and all this inbound but like you know i want to test this new idea i don't really know anyone i have to do outbound and i'm doing outbound to developers here which is like good luck but yeah, yeah. i should i should i think you, you know. have to do both maybe i would i would say mm -hmm. like do, doing both is probably because like when you when you have something out in the world that's like I think you kind of have to do both sides. Like you had to put something out and then get feedback. Yeah. But then, and like we were doing the, you know, classic like bomb testing interviews and stuff. 
um, before we did anything. But like when it's so hard, I think it's really hard to understand, like really truly understand without like pain and time and <laughs> all that stuff, unfortunately. I mean, you can get, um, you can sort of get like, you can do the right thing without sort of ne like doing all that, going through all that pain, just like sort of accidentally. Um, but I think if you, yeah, to, when you do go through that pain, I think when you go through the lessons of like all that support and all that stuff, when uh, it's like oh, understanding them, but also you grow, you have conviction, you start grow like you, you're starting to get conviction over like a, a, which way to go. And that conviction is, is hard. It's hard from like talking to people on LinkedIn or even doing like phone calls with people. Um, I think it, you know, it, it takes like, it takes some amount of time and some amount of pain and some about changes. And, um, so it's not like a, a sexy answer or like one people might want to hear, but I think, um, it's definitely, definitely, um, definitely the case. Um, cool. at least for us, I mean, it could, yeah. could work differently for other people. But. What, what else, what else do we have here? Um, Let's again, see. I haven't seen this, um, uh, it's first time. Yeah, they uh, keep, keep scrolling down. There's a, um, let's see. Yeah, I guess experimentation, the sales thing. So that was sales. sort of what I was talking about before with um, like enterprise sales versus like PLG. Um, there's some like post hog and Superbase are sort of the classic like PLG. Um, and actually it was funny, funny enough, I was, I was in a conversation at the YC alumni thing with mm -hmm. um like someone from Superbase and someone from Posog <laughs> and they're like talking to each other like about their problems I'm like oh my god I, that's gonna be sick like if we ever got there <laughs> yeah it's like they're they're like what they're doing is is crazy like they're the way they're scaled and stuff um but yeah the, the, that that's a, like you can sort of decide I think it depends on what market you're going after like what your tool is but I think definitely think about like is your is what you're building more enterprise sales or more like like ground up kind of stuff you know plg stuff and it depends on who you're going after right um so like for example we were talking to um someone in our batch in physical i don't know if you've mm -hmm. heard of them they're like an open source like secrets op secret ops platform I and think they're very doing much really like well. they're they're yeah their customers are enterprise like it makes sense yes. for them you know for them to go out. and so they I don't think they were doing this at first, but they definitely changed to being like very, very focused on enterprise. And when you when you do that, they're doing sales, right? Like they're going, they're, they they haven't like hired the salespeople. They're doing the sales, right? Um, and so they're doing enterprise sales, and that like it it really you have to think it, like where is my product gonna land? And don't try to like you can't if you try to do the wrong one for the wrong product, it's probably not gonna work. Um, and so yeah. The, Yeah. probably PLG and like going yeah. wide and then they yeah. got that interest from enterprise and they're like oh we yeah. should focus here so it might be tough in advance yeah. to have it like can, a set they, strategy right they, ex yeah yeah but I think it's more about like yeah you, uh, reacting I guess you know you can go in with the, the idea but then react you know when when things happen like and move towards that way I think I mean I, I sort of like I'm, I almost look at uh, people like that with like some uh, amount of uh, jealousy because <laughs> it's like they just like go out and like close like yeah fifty hundred thousand dollar deals. I'm like, damn, that's that is that is sick. But also, I don't really want to be doing enterprise sales. So I yeah, I guess I guess there's pros and cons to everything. But so that's um, for sales. But yeah, what else do we have here? Let's see. Should be making content. Most dev yeah. tools I speak uh, to make content. Go. Content has slow compounding mm. effects for most dev tools, and the long term customer acquisition cost will likely be lower than other channels. Uh, what's your feel about content so far? You you're not you're active on Twitter plenty. Um, mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Yeah, yeah, yes. I think this is a this is a good one. Definitely should be making content. I think one of the, this is one of the things like a signal you can get if you're wondering like, am I making the right thing as well? Is like how are people reacting to your content? So that's you know it's it's also like it's marketing. And it's also going to give you some amount of like. Are we building the right thing? Because I think when we were doing stuff before for for version two, we weren't getting nearly the the feedback and like the response that we're getting now. Like we put up a tweet yesterday, I think, about like rendering PDFs. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like the thing, like they're probably not the sexiest thing in the world, but it, I think it it's 
like one of our better performing ones had like you know almost twenty thousand views with like three hundred likes and over three hundred bookmarks and stuff. And um, like okay, for us, I gotta, that's I gotta like, pull it up. I gotta yeah, pull it up. Wait, it's pretty close. good. Um, <laughs> and it, yeah, just a bit of code, and it didn't take very long to write. I mean, the the example stuff takes a little while to like put together. Um, but I think yeah, we're we're definitely seeing the results of like the content coming through now, and I think it's like um, it's got a couple benefits to doing the content. Like one is that like you have to sort of use the product to make the content. Like you you're not going to do it without like actually building something and like getting it to work right um and so like that that is super useful just to like give you extra time to use your own product so one thing we found is like uh yeah that's it there um when you're in building when you're building your product you don't get to use it like <laughs> like you're sort of you're not a user of your product i think i made a tweet like what's the german word for like building something that you really want to use but you don't have any time to use it because you're building too busy building it um and like it, it's true like so this is this forces you to actually use it and then you you sort of like oh I, I, like this demo i made here it like i have like five things now i want to go build because uh, to make it better right um so yeah that, that's one good thing about it but yeah just the making the content we you know it gives you i mean it's so e it's like people just want to know how to do stuff and you're just like showing them how to do stuff with your thing. It like makes it makes you know. It, it's it's great like advice. There's, there's, this should be done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like yeah. I mean, look, like, yeah, that that's um, yeah. All we did was like put together that demo, and 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 one of the nice things about our product is like we it is very like we could do all sorts of different things, right? It's not like we could show AI stuff. We could show like PDFs and Puppeteer and browser base and you know all sorts of different things. Um, and so we have like this endless amount of like content we could create. Um, so it would be interesting to sort of see like what works well and like what, you know, it's very mm -hmm. like stupid base, you know, very similar to that. Um, and but, yeah. I, should, I should add that this almost kind of like updates also the job description of being an engineer because like, you know, I, I was having mm -hmm. this exact conversation with uh, Pontus from Midday yesterday. He's oh, very yeah. prolific. Yeah, he, he uses us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he uses uh, trigger too. So he was, yeah. we basically came to the conclusion that, you know, if you don't tweet about it, it's like you didn't ship it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you merge yeah. the PR, but yeah. if you don't tweet about it, it's like it never happened. So yeah, yeah. And and then accordingly, I feel yeah. like it, it, it becomes core to the workflow and you want to hire people to do your team that do that as well. So yeah, 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 definitely. I think it's gonna it, like, I would imagine that um, that gets hard, like when you scale, um, like for example, like Superbase and stuff. They have they've hired people that do that. Um, Meme lords. But for I think for the founders and stuff, like when you're when you're yeah, like at this stage, it makes a whole lot of sense that like you're the founder, you're the engineer, you're the marketer, um, and like we're we're sort of lucky we have two two sort of people who are founders who are like more on the design side. But they can code and they're like they're doing all the examples and stuff and they're you know using the product and built, putting this stuff out so like everything looks nice when they do it and uh, which is nice but yeah they're they're like it's a good sort of mix because generally there's slightly less like um design work to do than than coding works so this is like sort of a good good marketing channel and um yeah we'll, we'll we're gonna try some um some different sort of formats and things that um I definitely think, yeah, obviously, uh, making content is, is the way to go. And this is this sort of follows on from that, the, the tail draw stuff. I mean, tail draw is like uh, so unfair because <laughs> everything they do is visual. And so like their demos are so sick, um, especially with the AI stuff. And they, it's insane. Like when you see the numbers their their stuff does, but, um, uh, and then, yeah, we've been talking a lot about this, um, like uh kind of marketing this is actually quite a large conversation as well over last week was um sort of trying to like stand out in your marketing and mm -hmm. like don't do something that everyone else is doing um and we're trying to figure out what it, what what that means for us um but uh if you have any ideas let us know that's, uh, that's very well said i, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember who, i don't remember who said it but it was something along the lines of you know if your competitors can sign your copy or your creative mm -hmm you're doing it wrong. So another way of saying how you need to uh, be unique. Sure. So yeah, if a competitor can yeah, sign yeah, when yeah. you just post it, it's like, it's not good. Mm. 
So yeah, no, but yes, Post Hog is like the best at this. They're killing it. Um, yeah, there's I, yeah, they have such a good. They have a person who's um, does all like just does all the hedgehog uh, illustrations. <laughs> They've done like <laughs> thousands of hedgehog illustrations. <laughs> so if you're writing like a, a an email like a you know marketing or whatever kind of email, even if even a non-marketing like a, a transactional email they will like to be like hey i need a hedgehog to do this um, and they'll <laughs> draw a hedgehog for which is so cool um, uh, I, I can imagine that cool. guy like when he was younger he could never imagine that in the future his job would be just drawing a hedgehog yeah, yeah. all day for postdoc <laughs> <laughs> Makes doing a phenomenal uh, job, uh, yeah. you know. Props to him. Yeah. Uh, what What else do yeah. we have here? And we could probably sit here for like an hour or two just discussing this article. But yeah. I'm wondering I if know. you have yeah. some other favorite part that we should definitely cover. Um, memes, uh, memes. Yeah, I wish I could do memes. I'm not that good. At you do not that, not um, do memes. Super... I mean, you know, a little bit <laughs> of memes. Oh, some something <laughs> left and right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess the founder thing that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you sort of have to like, um, but it'd be interesting to see how that it's like, you know, for Mike from WorkOS, like he still does a ton of stuff himself. And, you know, WorkOS is like quite a big company now. It is. Yeah. So I think I, I do. Yeah. Trying to to stay, you know, founder mode, I guess, um, we'll, <laughs> um, as things scale will be. Yeah, this this is a good one from Ant um, where he was talking about um, basically like figure out the one channel to use and just go all in on that channel instead of trying to do too much. And there were some conversations about like what, what works and doesn't work. Um, mm -hmm. uh, like I think link, a lot of people are doing LinkedIn, um, which seems to work uh, pretty good, um, but we don't do LinkedIn. Uh, yeah. So we might try some of that, but um, yeah, uh, I think it's like pick, pick one and do, uh, you know, basically go all in on that. Um, it just depends could on even, what kind of yeah. thing you're doing, right? Could yeah. even could even call it like you know together with product market fit, you need also like a channel yeah. Um, fit yeah. as well. Well, the, the distribution the yeah. market market is half of product. Market it captures fit, it. So yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what else is here? Um, work with influencers who are experts. Developers are extremely mm. social and influenced by other developers. All right, and then a, a long yeah, yeah. quote here. Uh, what's what's your take here? I mean, do you do you at all watch like because you know Zaf and I every day like we'll watch some mm. prime gen like Theo, oh, um, yeah, which are yeah, streaming yeah, yeah, ourselves. Yeah. So we personally like consume a lot of developer content. What about you guys? Yeah, I'm I'm mostly on like uh, YouTube. I don't do too much stream like watching of the streaming. Although I, I have started started watching uh, Theo's stream sometimes um, and. Uh, I haven't done. I haven't watched Prime Gym, but I do watch his YouTube. But um, but yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, I, I think um, yeah, it's definitely something that we we sort of want to have some sort of strategy around, is like that, like basically making stuff for for those for those guys. Because um, yeah, they have they're definitely like right in our wheelhouse for who we're trying to go after as well. Um, but they also just like. I know, like Theo talks about this a lot, where he talks about like losing the trust of you know his audience and the whole of her cell like kerfuffle thing. But I think like the those the reason why people watch those guys so much is because they tr like they have their you know they yeah trust I don't them. think he so, lost like, the trust. I don't think many people like... are like hate watching these people. <laughs> like, I don't <laughs> think anyone's doing that. Um, so yeah, I, I think know. yeah I think that's key for those this is mm -hmm. that trust is there, so people will feel like. You know, and and like you, you know, I don't, I don't want to go in there being like, um, sure, get you know, Thea or Prime Engine to like talk about us because they <laughs> like we force them to or something, or like no. uh, even pay them to. Like I, I sort of want to. It's almost like I want to build something that is worthy of that just organically happening, um, and uh, and like it's a signal. I think if 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 that happens, like you that you build something that's interesting and people like you're sort of on the right path. So as a, it's as a little a, bit like, yeah, yeah I, I agree with you. Uh, that's the mm. ideal scenario. But at the same time, if a paid acquisition mm. channel has a co cost of acquisition that is lower than the long lifetime value of the customer yeah, you get yeah. from it, like as a business, are you not going to invest in that paid marketing channel? And I mean, we see like Clerk and like big companies that partner all the time with these mm. creators, Vercel, obviously. And, you know, personally, yeah. I thought like Theo, he's trying to be sustainable in 
exp- you know, yes, in, in, in pursuing yeah, his, yeah. his art. So, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, what, what yeah. about this DevRel bit we have here? Any hot take on DevRel? Uh, hmm. I guess Did it ever Devrel... come up internally as a thing? Like, yeah, we definitely Devrel talked thing about that. Like, oh, yeah. well, we should hire DevRel, you know, when maybe that will be like one of our first hires and stuff. But I think as we've sort of gone on, and I think this has changed a lot, you know, in the last two years. But I think it was, as we got on, we're like, actually, we, we, we need to be the DevRel. Like, the founders need to be the DevRel. Like, it, it's sort of like, it's definitely a founder role. And I think as you scale, like, it makes sense to hire the DevRel people, um, for sure. Like, I don't, I don't, like, I, yeah. I think it's just a timing thing. Like, as you grow, you definitely will want DevRel. Because it's basically, it's just, it's just marketing and you're, they're, like, developers. And so they're built, like, those examples and all that stuff. And they can go out and talk to developers and they can go out and do conferences and stuff. Um, mm-hmm. But I think, yeah, at a certain point, like we are, it's just the founders need to be doing it. Not, not much much like it. any other business function or role that you hire for, it makes mm-hmm. sense that the founders first do the job to be done, to see yeah. what it's like so they can manage and help people to do it later on, but also to see where there yeah. is more kind of like what's coming back, like what's benefiting the business as a channel. So if you go to a lot of conference, for example, and you see yeah. that it's bringing you customers, maybe a new team member could spend their time going to conferences as an example, right? It could be any activity. Yeah. So uh, that makes sense. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I agree with that for sure. Uh, founders got to do this first. Cool. I mean, there's, there's tons of material here. Um, and this came out yesterday. I think. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> you should probably move the same yeah. Oh, yeah. You were talking about this earlier. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good luck finding a place that isn't, you know, uh, extremely expensive or very small. But yeah, I don't know how people do it. Um, coming from London, uh, it's still expensive. <laughs> so, but, though, yeah. though, if you if you get out of your ap- apartment and you sort of like stumble upon like a, you know, uh, an enterprise deal. Mm. Or whatever i mean it pays for itself <laughs> that's true right? it pays for itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly exactly yeah. very cool thanks for bringing this uh yeah. this up and as i said like we should all check it out uh jack we should show his twitter probably um yeah yeah there was yeah. actually he, they had a uh, he had an event last night i didn't get to it but um mm. they uh some of the trigger guys were there and it was yeah it's a great if you're in london definitely um definitely come to the next one uh because so the, the drinks is that it or yeah like open source dev tools yeah 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 there he is yeah oh uh, yeah there, very cool there's the picture from last night yeah so you're gonna be yeah. in london for yeah, the, rest we of the to... year yeah yeah i think so uh i mean yeah probably for a while <laughs> two kids in school here now so yeah <laughs> i don't think i'm going anywhere <laughs> okay that that's nice is that from last night yeah yeah, yeah, that was very 